Hello, and welcome to the Garland County Library series on OverDrive. In this video, we'll look at how to search for items, refine your search, and set your preferences for OverDrive on your computer's browser. To begin, you can access OverDrive through our website at www.gclibrary.com or by visiting www.adlc.overdrive.com. To begin, let's click the magnifying glass. You can search by title, author, or subject. The search bar may offer suggested searches as you type, so feel free to click on those if they help. You may notice the Advanced Search option, which can be used to fine-tune your search. There's also an option to do this after your search is complete. Let's perform a couple of searches. Let's say I'm looking for books by James Patterson. As you begin typing, there's the suggested autocomplete. You can click there. Once you see the search results, you'll also see a column on the left, which will allow you to filter them. This will narrow down what you'll see on the results panel. To delete filters, you can click the X at the top of the column. Starting from the top, you'll see the option for availability. Just like the books on the shelf at the library, our digital items have limited checkouts and holds lists. By clicking the option for Available Now, you'll only see items that are currently available, and it will exclude those with the wait list. You can also tell whether an item is available at the top of the cover image here. Next, we have some audience options, which will let you focus on specific ages of interest. If you're looking for James Patterson's Alex Cross series, you can search for General Adult. If you're looking for his Maximum Ride series, you could click Young Adult. The next two options, ebooks and audiobooks, will allow you to search by specific formats. If you're reading on your computer or laptop, it's advisable to use the Overdrive Read for ebooks and Overdrive Listen for audiobooks. They'll work natively in your browser with OverDrive's website. If you're just browsing on your computer to read or listen on another device, you can select the appropriate format. If you have access to the OverDrive or Libby app, such as an iPhone, we'd recommend the EPUB format for eBooks and MP3 for audiobooks. If you're using an e-reader device, such as the Kindle Paperwhite, you'll want the Kindle format. Here, you can limit by subject. While still looking at titles by James Patterson, if you prefer his true crime to his fiction novels or his romance to his suspense, this is where you can limit those. You can also select multiple options, so if you're looking for a title with both mystery and suspense, you can choose both. Those are the most basic filters you're likely to use. There are other filters for more specific uses. To learn more, check out help.overdrive.com. The last thing we'll cover is the search preferences. While there aren't many preferences, they can sometimes make your searching a lot simpler. To access the search preferences, we'll click on My Account and then on Settings. Under this Content Preferences menu, we can choose our audience type. If we're searching as an adult who's not interested in juvenile content, we can highlight the adult options. This will allow us to only see adult books for all future searches. Alternatively, if we're setting up a child's account, we can highlight the juvenile option and we'll only see juvenile books. The final option is a checkbox for Kindle preference. If you're using a Kindle device that only works with a Kindle format, checking this box will ensure that our search results only display items that work on a Kindle. That completes our video for searching in OverDrive. Thanks for watching.